about that? Okay, we are now in the letter S of comedies. Oh boy. Ready? Okay, I gotta go. Here we go. Say anything. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. See no, evil, don't, see no evil, hear no evil. Shrek, Shrek 2. Silver Streak, Sister Act. 16 Candles, Smokey and the Bandit. Spaceballs, Splash. Sure Crazy, Stripes. Summer Rental, Summer School. Secret of My Success. Spies Like Us. Strange Brew. Still Smoking. Soul Man, Super Bad, Swingers, South Park, Super Fuzz, Scary Movie Franchise, uh, Seems Like Old Times, Step Brothers, and Stakeout. Holy crap! I told you that was gonna be a long list. All right, can I get a number, a part, a, a, a top five out of this? At number five, I'm gonna go with Step Brothers. God dang it, man! It, I mean, it, it, you wanna talk improv gold? It's Step Brothers, Will Ferrell and John C. Riley together. I mean, you would think that like, like Talladega Nights, right, was the epitome. No, no, no. Step Brothers was absolutely comedic gold, improvisational gold. Like it is just freaking hilarious. Like if you started out at the improv or the groundlings or whatever the hell, it, this is where it pays off because Step Brothers is just so damn funny. Just check it out. I, that's all I got to say. Step Brothers at number five. At number four, whew, I'm going to go with the first screen movie, scary movie. I'm going to go with scary movie. The Wayans, like, they're just one of the best at. They're one of the best at uh, parody movies, and you know they just don't have like they really have no filter on it. And that movie is just like. You know, you get these movies, you know, these comedy uh, horror films, you know, like Student Bodies, if you've never seen Student Bodies. It's a lot, you know, there's a lot of uh, humor in, in Student Bodies. Uh, they take it to a whole other level by actually mixing in that type of uh, uh, humor with freaking uh, Naked Gun and, and, and Airplane and that type of parody. And they just... They just, they're brilliant. The Wayans are brilliant in how they do, and how they do scary movie. Uh, and I, every joke hits. There is nothing that is, uh, you know, it, it, there's not a dull moment in that movie. They kind of missed the mark of scary movie too, except for the intro, the exorcist and intro for scary movie two is just the best. But yeah, <laughs> scary movie one, absolutely hilarious. That's my number four at number three. Oh man, I am gonna probably have to go with Super Bad. I mean, Jonah Hill, Michael Cera, you know, and um, Christopher. Oh my gosh, Christopher. What is his name? McLovin. I, I, Mince Plassey, is that his name? I don't know. Either way, dude, those three are freaking gold man i mean it is such a brilliantly written film and those three deliver it beautifully you get the young emma stone you get rogan you get uh bill Hader in that like it is just so damn funny there is like a, a, another one there's not a dull moment in super bad you know and i would say that it launched the careers of those guys you know and uh i there's nothing more that i can honestly say except you gotta watch it super bad is so damn funny going along the lines of that judd apatow knocked up and uh a 40 year old virgin you know i mean it's like that it's just so freaking brilliant check it out if you haven't seen it super bad at number three number two. Oh man number two this one's really hard i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with stakeout i i you can do the rotation of what there's no no numerical order honestly i'm gonna I'm go stakeout i i i love stakeout you know when you think of uh buddy films you always have the knockoff and you always have the you know the, the straight man right and there's always the the older guy is usually the straight man you know a la lethal, lethal weapon right it's always a straight man but not in stakeout in stakeout it's reverse and this time the knockoff is richard dreyfus the old guy is the knockoff and emilio estevez is, is the responsible straight straight man and it just does not disappoint so <laughs> that movie is so much fun I loved it, and and again, you know, kind of like uh, that whole um, 
era of Touchstone when, uh, you know, like with Bette Midler, Dreyfus was in that too, you know, because he was doing Down and Out Beverly Hills, and then he did Ten Men, and now and then he he did Stakeout, and you know he didn't miss either. He was absolutely brilliant in this movie. After Jaws, I would say this is his best movie after Jaws. Yeah, Mr. Holland's Opus. Okay, I'll give you that. But And Goodbye Girl, he won the Oscar. But I don't care. Stakeout is my favorite Richard Dreyfuss movies, aside from Jaws. Uh, gotta check it out. Stakeout number two. At number one, I'm biased. I- I'm biased. I- I'm gonna, I'm because Spaceballs is hilarious, but I'm gonna give it to Swingers. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Swingers. Because again, the the this movie is pretty much kind of like the the uh, foundation of my life for the most part, and I thank my friend Rob for introducing it introducing it to us back in '96. Uh, but because of the you know the uh, challenges uh, you know relationship wise and the the uh, support and the amount of love that I got from my friends like. You know, th- this, that uh, that's just the camaraderie and of of what it's like to be around that kind of support and that kind of love. And we're still there 30 years later. But, you know, Swingers is, is what started it all to me. You know, John Favreau and, and, and Vince Vaughn and, and the group of guys around them, you know, they, they were just the chemistry and the dynamic around the, these friends that come together after, you know, trying to get this guy out of a rut. Uh, from his relationship, you know, it's just it's just beautifully written, and I I love this movie. The, I think that the the music is fantastic, the soundtrack is great, and and the writing and the comedic uh, uh, approach that Vince Vaughn does in this is you know it kind of like makes him typecast it in a way because he's Vince Vaughn in every other movie. But uh, this is where it started it all. This is the one that started it all. Very dear to my heart. Absolutely love Swingers number one, but I do love my Spaceballs. Yeah, leave it in the comment below and let me know what you think. Uh, did I get it wrong? Did I get it right? I don't know. 